is time. It is time to brew your best beer. The 2015 SJ Pour Challenge is brought to you by the Grain Bill Homebrew Supply, located in Red Lion, Pennsylvania. Brewers Exchange, operating in the U.S. and Canada. Finney's Homebrew Emporium, located in Bishopdale, Christchurch, New Zealand. And Omega Yeast, located in Chicago, Illinois. Hi uh, guys, okay we're back uh, for uh, the fourth um, review out of the beers I've got so far. Uh, now this one, uh, again I have no name, uh, I've only got the number and of course the, uh, the information sheet. So this one is uh, 1E6 106DF. Now it, uh, it says it's a Chardonnay Belgian triple. So this one started out at 1080 and finished at 1006. This is going to be strong this. So um, I mean that last one which was a, a, a Saison. I'm, fi I'm, I'm getting a nice warm face. <laughs> a nice warm glow on that one. Uh, I've been driving all day uh, up in the Lake District. Um, I'm pretty whacked out, I'm knackered um, and uh, I've not had any tea yet so <laughs> I'm getting these reviews out of the way and uh, so I can then go and have some tea um, so uh, <laughs> I'm going to be staggering to the, the Chinese, Chinese uh, to get me tea so uh, let's have a look at this one so first of all in the bottle um, it's it always seems to have been a little bit hazy there isn't a, a real clarity to it there is always always seems to be a slight cloudiness to it even when I first got it and it was I let it settle uh, without being in the fridge um, it still had a cloudiness and even though it's been in the fridge now for uh, nearly a week I I still can't get any cl real clarity on it, so um, we shall see what we've got now. <coughs> it was uh, from a 19 litre batch, and he's got uh, Belgian Pilsner malt, wheat malt, acid malt, Chardonnay grape. Uh, sorry, sorry, Chardonnay grape juice concentrate. So it's got a little bit of uh, grape juice in it. He had uh, East Kent Goldings for 60 minutes and a Herzbrucker for 5 minutes. Um, now his local ingredient, he's saying, instead of the more traditional uh, used sugar addition, um, I French this up by adding a kilogram of Chardonnay juice uh, concentrate. Finally, I let it sit <clears throat> on French oak chips until uh, ample oak character was obtained and oh I use uh, my local tap water well don't we all <laughs> uh, dechlorinated and adjusted with various minerals so he's actually uh, adjusted his water profile in this so by the sounds of it it's um, a I'm not too sure if what, either of the European guys got their beers in. This could be one of them. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but it sounds like it from from what he's saying. So <coughs> we'll crack into it and see what we've got. So we'll see what the hiss is like. Oh, it's a nice hiss. So. In in the bottle it's, <coughs> it's it's a slight like a slight musty musty smell we'll see if that disappears because most of the most of the aromas you get in the, in the neck of the bottle do disappear after a few seconds yeah it's starting to disappear now we're getting a more sweeter smell through <coughs> so we'll see what we've got in the glass
There's only a small amount left in there. Okay. So we've got a nice head on it. Uh, we've got about a finger, probably just over a finger width head. Let's see what this smells. I am getting a slight oak oak smell to it. Maybe that's what the musty smell is. I'm still getting that musty musty smell, just very ever so slightly. It's quite well carbonated. This. I'm trying to see if you can see it. It isn't the easiest thing to see because it's you can see it's just see it at the top there. It isn't the easiest thing to see but it because it is quite quite murky you can it's not really that clear. But it's not a problem. Definitely get the Belgian uh, flavour um, to it. <coughs> yeah, you, you sort of uh, going towards uh, the Leffy type of beer. No, almost like. Um, uh, <coughs> The, the the quack uh, Belgian beer. <clears throat> Again, it's quite sweet. Not getting an awful lot of bitterness. There is some there, but I'm not getting an awful lot. Not really getting the, the Chardonnay, but there is obviously a bit of sweetness there. So we've we've still got a decent head. That head seems to be staying quite there quite well. There is a little bit of lacing. Let me swirl it round. It has got some legs on it. There isn't an awful lot on the smell, on the aroma. It's very, excuse me, it's very carbonated. Definitely got that Belgian Belgian uh, flavour to it. So <clears throat> I'll uh, I'll call that one a day on the review on that. I'm not. What did he say? Put in there. Didn't say what. Um, didn't say what yeast he used. But it's definitely a nice Belgian flavour to it. And you can definitely, you get the alcohol, it's very strong on the alcohol. I can't think off the top of my head what 1080 down to 10, uh, 1006 is, but that's getting up there, isn't it? It's 8, eight or 9% maybe. So that's very, very nice. So <laughs> while I score that, I'll take my time over that one. Otherwise, I'll be uh, I'll be in the bag. So uh, okay, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, up to now, um, I haven't had a bad beer. They've all been excellent beers. Very different so far. Um, I think that's that's the fourth one I've done, and um, 
certainly you get a different uh, range of, of beers to taste so uh, I'm enjoying myself reviewing the beers and uh, until we, we come back and carry on cheers guys all the best